It's among the most dangerous jobs. Those who keep order among the people accused and convicted of crimes in our community. In this week's 13 Crime Files, we tag tagged along with corrections officers at the Pima County Jail to see what improvements have been made and what they think still needs to change. Nestled off Silver Lake and Mission Roads is the Pima County Adult Detention Complex. The facility can accommodate nearly 2,000 inmates who are either awaiting trial or serving their sentences. We spent a morning with a few corrections officers to see what a typical day looks like for them. Nolani Roman started at the jail in 2008 and is currently working in the medical observation unit that everyone must come through to be cleared by a doctor. Especially in here too, I see a lot of mental health um, inmates. This is probably the best place for them uh, because they talk to, you know, our psych, um, psych teams. CO Flores is the corrections canine handler. And as you can imagine, his job has become even more necessary in this day and age. His canine Noah searches all of the main points in the jail and is frequently notifying him about things like fentanyl. So much so that CO Flores needs to be careful the canine doesn't make too much contact. He has a passive alert, so his alert is just, you know, he sniffs it to the source and once he, sit, once he sniffs it, he'll sit um, after that. You know, as soon as he gives me that alert, I'll move him, remove him from the area due to, you know, him getting any sort of contamination and I'll move him out of it and, you know, call, call the search and then put my dog up and then I'll search it myself. The inexperience of newer jail employees, many right out of high school, was a shared concern among multiple officers I spoke with. Sio Roman sees this firsthand as she helps with training. I'm kind of mixed emotions with that because I started right out of high school too. So I mean now I'm a very seasoned um, employee now, but I mean yes, they are, they're coming in really young. A lot of them, you know, they just don't have the worth ethic, I think, or, you know, I think it's just the different generations too, just the way they're brought up and stuff like that. The newer officers that do come in, are a little bit nervous, they are a little bit scared, but I always tell them as long as you're respectful, you're, you'll get the respect back. I also took the concern to Sheriff Chris Nanos. At 18 years old, to, to put you in a room with 70, 80, 200 inmates and say, this is yours. You keep everybody safe, you meet all their needs, and good luck, that's, that's tough. And no weapons, they don't have any weapons. The weapons is their ability to communicate and they're excellent at, de at, at, at de-escalating situations. But you have to get that training. But CEO Roman has faith in the training. They'll get there eventually. I feel like we have a lot of great um, corrections training officers that kind of help them mold, but just like with everything, it takes time. So, you know, I have confidence that they'll get there. You know, it just, it's gonna take a little while for sure. All of the officers I spoke with expressed their delight with the recent increase in staffing. When I first came in here, it was pretty rough. Um, there was Our staffing was very minimal, but I feel like we've made a drastic change in our staffing numbers, and right now we're sitting at a pretty good spot. Even with the improvements, these officers cannot get complacent. You never want to be comfortable in a place like this, but at the same time, you know, I, I feel okay being with the staff that we have. And some are lucky enough to leave work with a sense of fulfillment. I'll see, you know, the inmates and they're like, hey, I'm doing really good. You know, I haven't been back, you know, since the last time I see you in 2012 or, you know, so I do love to see, you know, the success stories or, you know, people that aren't regular so much. Um, I mean, so I guess that's my takeaway. But this success story isn't countywide. I've had multiple corrections officers from the state prison in Tucson reach out to me with concerns about how dangerous things are there. I'm gathering more details on the situation and we are working on a crime files for this in the near future.